Hello guys and welcome back to another good tool video and today I want to show you how to create a wall jump for the player. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's say I want the player to actually beat the game by jump wall jumping off of this wall and into the portal instead of the platform thing that we had last time. So here's what you can do. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to detect if the player is on the wall or off the wall. So let's first go ahead and create an area 2D in order to detect the collision. We can name it wall. And now that area 2D is obviously going to have a collision box. Now in setting up the collision box, it doesn't really matter where the collision box is set when it comes to the directions. Just make sure that the direction where the player is jumping is a bit more accurate. So something like this should be good. Now the next step of this is to tweak the script. So go ahead into your player function here, wherever it is, and go ahead and create a brand new variable. You can name it something like on wall to detect if the player is on the wall. For now, you can go ahead and set it to false and we'll go ahead and change it later. Now, the next thing you want to do here is go ahead and set up the script or the signals for the wall collision itself. So what you want to do is you want to go into wall here. You want to go into node and in here you find all the signals. Now, obviously, you want to go ahead and choose the body entered and body exited. So you want to go ahead and click body entered and you want to connect it onto the player script now make sure that when you're picking the name for this that you pick it for every single wall so you might create a wall for example called wall 2 but it has to be on wall body entered so i'll show you an example here if i go ahead and click connect as you can see we'll have a function here but let's say i go ahead and create a second uh i don't know sprite 2d for example and i go ahead and link a random function here for example it has to be the exact same as here and it will link back here so let's go ahead and for example copy this right here we'll go ahead and paste it as you can see even though the two functions are actually different the two complete different say uh, elements or whatever go ahead and click connect as you can see it will link to the exact same function so you want to make sure that every single wall you create you have the exact same function name here or signal name basically so we want the body entered as well as the body exited to determine when the player has in fact exited the wall jump now what we want to make sure here is that whatever enters slash exits the wall is actually the player and if you remember last time we went ahead and created a group for the player in the nodes if you haven't done that yet just go to your player character go to node go to groups go ahead and name your group whatever you want for example player and go ahead and click add i already have it here so i'm not going to do that so we're going to head back into our code here and we want to say if body dot is underscore in group there you go and here it should you should just say player in the strings we can go ahead and copy that as well right here and so after that what we want to do here is if it is on the wall as you remember we created a variable that is on wall so we want to set that on wall variable to true if we have in fact entered the body and if we haven't that means we want to set it to false okay this is good and all but this does nothing right because we only change a variable it doesn't really change the motion of the character so let's go ahead and deal with that now now if you remember here this function right here the if is not on floor and this whole thing basically just makes sure that we are applying well gravity right so we want to add another condition if we are not on the floor and we are off the wall right because if we're on the wall we just want to stay still because while jumping well we want to go ahead and just stay still right so and on wall equals not false true right and on wall is equal to false right so now basically we shouldn't be on the floor we should be floating and we shouldn't be on a wall there, there that way we can execute this now let's say we're in the middle of a jump or we were falling already and our y velocity doesn't change sure it will stop applying gravity but our y velocity is still going to be constant what we want to make sure to do is that when we are on the wall we want to set our velocity dot y to zero because if you're falling or jumping we want to stop doing that right uh one more thing i forgot to test out is that we should probably make sure to expand this a little more because when we hit it obviously it's going to need to hit the actual collision shape here now what you want to do after that is actually create a collision box that is for the collision itself so not for the wall jumping you'll want this ultimately to be less than the collision box of the actual jump as you can see there is a bit extending off here and so with that said if you go ahead and run it as you can see we should be able to just go ahead and continue the parkour and as you can see we are stuck on the wall now one thing we left to do is fix the jump because as you might notice we can't jump we can only just dismount the wall but we can't jump so the fix for this is actually extremely simple 
So here in our jump function, right here, we need to go ahead and press the button as well as be on the floor, as you can see. So instead of be on the floor, we can say on the floor or on underscore wall is equal to true because we want to make sure that he is actually on the wall or on the floor so that he can jump. And so with that said, this should go ahead and fix our issue. So if we were to approach the wall here, as you can see, we can go on it and we can jump freely as you can see to the top and we can continue the level. So there you go. Now, this is obviously stackable, so you can have multiple walls leading to each other. So you can have a wall here, a wall here, and you can just implement the exact same thing. Then again, make sure, make sure, double make sure that your signal here that you emit from whatever wall you create has the exact same name, exact same capitalization, exact same numbers, everything. So whatever name you decide for this function has to stay the exact same for the entered and for the exit. And so that, guys, that should do it for today's tutorial. If you want any specific tutorial or anything you want me to make a video about, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. Any suggestions or tips would be appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.